Joining me now, Deputy Executive Director of America Rising, Chris Martin. Chris, we talk a lot about what's happened because of COVID. How big a thing do you think it is that parents are now involved in their kids' education because they're actually reading through this kind of curriculum? Well, it's critical that parents are aware of what their kids are being taught in school. And, you know, for the past year, kids have been stuck at home learning, you know, in their in their bedrooms on Zoom. And now they're returning to school finally, and their parents are starting to realize they're being indoctrinated, not educated. And, you know, my mom's a retired school teacher of 30 years down in Florida, and I show her some of this stuff, and she's absolutely appalled. So it's, it's not just parents. It's also teachers that don't want to be teaching this type of content to kids. They know it's wrong, too. And we're not talking about the issues that actually matter in education, math, science, English, teaching people the languages, teaching people other cultures as well. It's all about teaching these kids leftism, trying to indoctrinate them into be the new voting generation and even going on to the military. Why aren't we talking about education? Because our standard is very low compared to the rest of the world. Yeah, we see across the board that American students are not graduating at the rates they used to, and they're not graduating at the same level of knowledge that they used to. Meanwhile, countries like China are, are lapping us on, you know, edu on math, on sciences and things like that. So while we're focused on teaching kids to hate each other with critical race theory, they're focused on, you know, graduating kids who are going off to the STEM fields and innovating and creating new technologies. So I think there's a real problem there. But I think parents are starting to wake up. We're seeing, especially in places like Virginia, which has a high profile governor race this year. Parents are flooding local school board meetings and really giving, you know, the officials there an earful about this and telling them that they don't want their kids indoctrinated. They want them to learn math. They want them to learn to read in, in science. They want, to, they want them to learn with this, to, to graduate with the skills necessary that they need for their lives, not, not this far left woke uh, ideology they're being taught. Do you think the schools are even listening anymore? Because you have the teachers unions that really are dictating the curriculum here. A lot of parents can't afford to take their children into private schools. And we've been fighting for school choice. President Trump had been pushing that issue, but Democrats just don't care. How do we get them to start caring? Well, we have to expose how much money they're taking from teachers unions. You know, these local school boards and, and the Democratic politicians who are kind of controlling all this are being funded by, by teachers unions. And they want to teach this type of radical ideology. They want to keep churning out social justice warriors uh, and sending them off to our universities to be, you know, further indoctrinated because it comes back to, you know, making them more powerful. The more people they can indoctrinate and teach these things, the more of a base they have in the different elections we have going forward. It's so sad to see because this is the next generation we're talking about. The Democrats aren't listening. We have to secure our elections, too, just because of education, because if the Democrats are in control and they're not listening to the people anymore, they are going to indoctrinate the next generation as much as parents are trying to fight back. Chris, thank you for bringing attention to this issue and standing up for America's kids. It's really such an important issue. Thank you.